Hello and welcome to Goring Guitar. We have a song here from Paul Alondra featuring Travis Barker called Nublado. And this is about uh, one chord progression, four chords that goes through the entire song. And I'm going to show you four different ways of uh, handling these chords, four different strumming patterns, which will work and uh, be um, uh, yeah, utilized here in this song. So let's start this one up. No need for any cape on this one. So we're going to work with bar chords and mainly the bass notes from these bar chords. So this is typical um, kind of a rock song. So um, yeah, no need to go in depth with how you're going to place your fingers more than the bass uh, strings here. So um, yeah, enough. Let's go over the chords. So the first one will be the F sharp chord. So you have the bar here, if you wish, on the second fret. And uh, you're going to bar all strings there. And the rest will be fourth on the A string and fourth on D string. And if you want to go with the real F sharp, then you're also going to add the third fret here on the G string. Uh, but like I said, we're going to use the bass strings here mostly, so uh, it's not necessary to use this G. We're going to hammer on the E, A, and uh, D string anyway. So yeah that's the f sharp then we move to this b chord so you're gonna keep your bar there in the second fret now you don't need the e string here so from a string and down that means this a string and then the rest will be fourth on d and fourth on g and here the real b will be even the fourth on b but will not go down there so i'm using this kind of uh, sus accords, so B sus uh, variations uh, is what we're gonna uh, use here. The sus variations, so this is a B chord here. Then the next will be the D sharp minor, so you're gonna move up here with your bar to the sixth fret, and the chord looks exactly the same here. Uh, so um, bar here on the sixth fret, and from the E string and down, then the rest will be eight on D, eight on G. And the real D minor here, D sharp minor, will be with the seventh on B. Like I said, we don't go down there, so just keep it like this, a sus again. So that's the D sharp chord, and then we go to the C sharp. Same case there, just take the same grip, move the bar to the fourth fret now with the index finger on fourth, and everything else is the same. So that is six on the G string and six on D. So there you have the chords. First the F sharp, then the B, then the D sharp, and the C sharp. All right, so there you have the chord progression. Now let's take a look at these four different styles of playing this, and this is all about the strumming patterns and what you do with your right hand. All right, uh, so um, the first one is down down two fast downs pro chord and then a long break so like this and then you move pause and then you move pause and pause so very easy so just two downs pretty fast and a pause and then you go to the next chord one like that per chord so that's the first version. The second one is a down up down up technique. So grab that F sharp chord. So one round will be. All right. So that was actually two rounds, but down up down up is one round. So like that. You're gonna do two times per chord there. So down up down up down up down up, and then you move to the next chord. So the chord progression will be like this. So that was the second style. The third one will be a little bit slower. So I'll go back to this F sharp. And one round here will be down, down, clap, down. And you're just gonna do one of those per chord. So that is how it sounds. So down, down, clap, down. And then you move. So with the chord pressure, it will be like this. And the 
final fourth one is very similar to the first one. We had a down, down, pause there in the first. This one is with three downs and a pause. So a little shorter pause there. So. So one, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. And that's it, guys. Four different ways of playing this song. And that's what you need for Polo Andras and Trace Barker's New Blado. So good luck with this one, guys. Play tuned.